This video is for first-time Camtasia users. It demonstrates how to download and install Camtasia, then use it to make a simple screen recording. First, conduct a Google search for Camtasia 9 and click on one of the links that offers a download of the free trial. After you click the free trial button, you'll be asked to set up a Camtasia TechSmith account. If you don't have an account, click on Create a New Account. On the next screen, provide a valid email address. Then, create a password for your Camtasia TechSmith account. Click on Create Account. On the next screen, TechSmith asks for some information. Select one of the options and click Submit. Now that you're signed in, select the version of Camtasia you wish to download, Windows or Mac. This is a large download that could take several minutes. The Camtasia installation package is a .exe file, so you may have to give permission for it to download to your computer. I'll now fast forward to the end. Once the installation package has finished downloading, locate it on your computer and click on it to begin. Again, you may have to give permission for the .exe file to install on your computer. After the installation is complete, launch the program. The first time you open Camtasia 9, you may see it already populated with tutorial files. Watch the tutorial if you wish. When done, delete any file on the timeline, which is at the bottom of the screen, by right-clicking and selecting Delete. Then do the same for any files in the media bin. Right-click and Delete. You should now have a completely blank canvas with nothing on the timeline, nothing in the clip bin, and nothing showing in the viewer. Your next step is to click on the record button in the top left. In the recording toolbar that appears, do the following. First, set the recording dimensions to 1280 times 720. These are the preferred dimensions for uploading to YouTube. Next, click on Tools, then drag down to Options and select. In the Options window, select the Inputs tab. Set the capture frame rate to the highest setting, 30 frames per second. Since you'll be doing a simple screen recording without voiceover, be sure that Do Not Record Microphone is selected. Next, make sure a check mark appears in Record System Audio. This enables Camtasia to record any sound generated by the program or website you're recording. Now, Click OK. Next, I'll move the recording toolbar out of the way, although it does disappear automatically whenever you click Record. Our next task is to open up the web page or software program that you wish to demonstrate. After it's open, you must resize the screen so that it fits within the green dotted lines of the recording window, which I'm doing now. Note the four corners of the recording window. Do not change these. Resize the web page or software screen to fit exactly inside these four corners. Now you're ready to record. Click on the big red record button and you will receive a 3 to 1 countdown. Now Camtasia will record every action that takes place inside the recording window. Use or demonstrate the program for your viewers. When finished, either press F10 on your keyboard or click on the Stop button of the Recording Toolbar. When you do, Camtasia will automatically save the recording, open the editing canvas of Camtasia, and place your new recording in the clip bin and on the timeline for editing. Before beginning to edit, be sure to check your project settings. Go to the top of the canvas and click on the down arrow of the player window sizing control. In the drop-down menu that appears, select Project 
settings. The canvas dimensions should be the same as your recording dimensions, 1280 times 720. This is high definition and will fit exactly the screen of the YouTube player. It's important to record and edit using the same dimensions. Click Apply. Now to edit your recording, click on the Play button. When making demonstration videos, it's common to zoom in to key parts of the screen as they are mentioned. To do so, click on Animations on the left side menu. With Zoom and Pan highlighted, select one of the sizing tools and move it in the direction desired. Here, I'm zooming in on the word Gmail. To further help viewers, you can also use the Annotations tool to add callouts. Click on Annotations and select an appropriate callout for what is happening on the screen. I want a simple arrow to draw attention, so I select it and drag it down to the timeline at the frame where I wish it to appear. To format the callout, select it. You can add or delete text, resize, and recolor. In this case, I will use the arrow to point to the word Gmail. I click on Play again. When it's time for the arrow to disappear and for the screen to return to its actual size, I click on Stop. I adjust the length of time the arrow appears on the timeline. Then I go back to Animations and click on Scale to Fit. Next, I click on Play again and continue editing the video. To trim parts of the video, click and drag either the red or green block next to the playhead to select a part to trim. Then click on the scissors or cut tool. You can also extend parts of the video by right clicking on the video and selecting extend frame. Then enter in the number of seconds you wish to add. When you're finished editing the video, Trim off any excess by using the Split tool. Position your playhead at the part that you wish to trim. Then click on the Split tool. Back on the timeline, right-click and delete the portion that you just split off. To add a Fade to Black transition, click on Transitions in the Tool menu. Then select the transition and drag it to the end of the recording clip. To prepare your video for uploading, go to the top navbar and click on Share. Then select Local File in the drop-down menu. In the Production Wizard menu that appears, select MP4 only up to 720p. Then click Next. Give your video a name. Put it into a folder if you wish. Then click on Finish. The screen recording will now be rendered into an MP4 video for uploading on YouTube. When rendering is finished, be sure to save your Camtasia project so that you may re-edit the video if necessary. Close Camtasia. To upload your video, go to your YouTube channel and sign in if necessary. Click on the Upload arrow. Navigate to the video on your desktop or drag and drop it into the upload window. While the video is uploading, provide a title for the video, a brief description, and any video tags you want. On the left is a link to your video's page. When YouTube is finished processing your video, go there and click on the Edit Video button. On the next page, select whether your video will be public, unlisted, or private. Private means that only certain people can view it. These people must have YouTube accounts, and you must supply their email addresses to YouTube. This is usually not the option that you want. The most common sharing option for teachers is unlisted. This means anyone to whom you give the URL can watch it, but the video is not searchable. The public option is just that, 
The video will appear in searches and anyone can watch it. Be sure to click Save Changes when done. Return to your video's home page. Now click on the Share button. The first link is the URL for your video. For some blogging platforms, you can use this link to embed your video. However, some platforms require the embed code. To retrieve this code, click on the word Embed. Now copy the embed code that you see. Good luck with your screen recording.